I caught it five hours every day for three months and it changed my life. I was absolutely a newbie to web development back in July. I did HTML course, CSS and JavaScript which kinda took me about a month to complete them. I started to code different projects but usually I would struggle with styling, positioning and all that sort of stuff. But still I did not give up and managed to code for exactly 5 hours for 3 months straight. I started by building a calculator app which included lots of JavaScript. I began to complete more and more projects and finally the results are here. So without further ado, let's revisit each project one by one. As usual, this is my first project where I created a student registration form. So it contains different fields, different input fields. We have uh, radio buttons and we also have two drop down menus where you can select your city from and your department. And down below, we can upload our picture. So this is basically a simple form and if you see at the very bottom, we have a submit button. So it was a struggle because it was my first time working with HTML and CSS, but it contains a little bit of CSS and yeah, that's pretty much of it. Let's move on. A web-based calculator app which helps you perform basic math operations. It is basically a very common project when you are learning web development. And it was my first time working with JavaScript, so I faced a bunch of issues. Uh, I had no one to help me. I just had my internet connection. I was searching different websites and things like that. But I simply didn't give up and I came up with my own calculator. Uh, yeah, so this is cool, guys. Uh, you can create your own. Let's move on. Welcome to Inimato. This is where I worked more with my JavaScript skills and basically styling. So it has lots of styling. This is usually called as a login, an animated login form. So this is basically an animated login form. It has, it is basically a simple form, but it has, you know, it has a unique design and styling, too much styling, things like that. So this is my login form and there you there you go, you can enter your username, where you can put your password, remember me, and things like that. You can press the login button. And as you can see that, uh, when I hover on this button, uh, it changes. So things like that I worked with, and it took me a while because it was, you know, it had so much designing that goes into this app. So if I click the sign up button, now notice the animations. See that? These are the animations and you can get that with the help of a JavaScript and combine with CSS. So this is usually an animated login form. So if I click back to, if I click back on login button, I get back to the login page. So this is a login form and yeah, it's also a common project, right? I'm sure you guys have worked on your own login form. Anyways, this is the one and let's move on to the next one guys and explore more projects. Oh my god, it's getting better. It's basically my first project where I created multiple pages and combined them in order to accomplish my goal and that was creating a personal portfolio website. So it basically consists of uh, five different pages. You can see this cool animation, typing animation here. Yeah, don't worry, I copied it from somewhere in order to save my time, but let's just not discuss that. You can see some social icons here on the right and the circle around picture is also rotating, uh, but you might not notice that easily, but let's uh, there you can see a download CV button, contact me button. So if I scroll down a bit, there you get to see my services section and it has a read more button, but of course they're not working because, you know, it's just a front end. So let's move down here. My skills section. Oh my God, it's awesome, I guess. Let me know in your comments. What are your thoughts about this one? My portfolio website. And there you get to see about me section. If you notice, if you notice carefully there, there's animation, which is some sort of blinking inside this picture. So 
yeah it looks cool again it's not easily being noticeable but anyways this is the last page in basically a contact form where you can contact me and that's it it also has a smooth scroll in anima uh, scroll animations right so if I click the uh, uh, skills tab it's gonna move smoothly to the next section and now you forgot one the most important thing and that's the light team so if I click on this button this crescent moon button it will turn the theme into a light one and if I click back here yeah so it's basically a total theme changer you could say so now this is the light theme I hope it's also looking good but personally I like this website in the dark theme it looks more cool I don't know why but this is it it depends but this is it guys let me know in your comments how do you feel about it so JavaScript comes into play again and this is a to-do list app so of course you need some JavaScript in order to save these tasks in this list you know you can't do it without JavaScript you can't solely do it with HTML and CSS so it also includes JavaScript so this is a, a simple to-do list app uh, where you can add different tasks so they work as reminders so if I click the enter tasks it's gonna save and it's gonna be stored in this list and you can also edit these tasks uh, if you want to if I click here you know it finally changed and you can also delete tasks from here but if you've completed a task you can just mark it here yep so it's completed so when there are no tasks you would see a message something like no tasks added and there we have also multiple tabs we basically have five tabs but two of them are not working because I didn't I didn't need to work on them so I have a completed tasks button a tape so if I click on it there you get to see all the completed tasks in this list so yeah and pending tasks uh, let me add another tasks let's suppose it's just a task so if I edit the task here but it's a pending tasks so if I click the pending tasks I'm going to see all the pending tasks those tasks that I didn't completed yet so I guess it's also an ISAP and you would like to use it and play around guys I'll leave a link to the source codes of all these projects you can grab them absolutely for free but this is the to-do list app that you would like to use and it has a most important feature that is that even if you close the browser even if you restart your computer you will still get to see all these tasks stored in your app so let's move on look at these animations the video on my background guys this is getting interesting yeah this is a quiz app where you can take a javascript quiz you can customize it on your own but i i have chosen javascript for my quiz here uh if you can read that it consists of 12 20 multiple choice questions and each get equal marks and so on and so forth but we're in interested in beginning the test so this was my first time using a video as my background of the page so let's begin the test and here you can see yep I want to begin the test so you can see that uh, if I click next button um, it will move on to the next question and you can choose uh, the correct answer and if I keep moving forward I'll get my score as well but it's just now taking time if I click the score button uh, you can see some previous scores from here and again even if you close the browser if you restart your computer things will still be there your score history will still remain there you can also clear all the records by hitting this button at the top right corner so as you can see now I just uh, cleared all the records and that's it
these two tabs basically are not working because we don't need them how do you feel about it let me know in the comments so i'll leave this one for you this is a music player where you can play music from your local storage uh, it's a cool design quite simple but it looks cool uh, so here you can see that this cover is also missing and if i click the choose music from there you can uh, you can select the file chooser and basically you know what i mean to say is that you can select your music a folder a music folder that contains uh, music files basically mp3 files or any other format and then you can play them here you can pause them and you can um play the next music and so and so forth play around with this one guys i leave this one for you cordiology well this refers to our channel name yep you're absolutely right this is a landing page project where where you basically advertise a product or a service or anything so uh in this one i advertise our channel or our platform you know where we teach others how to learn coding and how to code different apps and websites and things like that but this is a landing page and of course if i scroll down i get to see different courses here that we provide and here you can see the pricing section you can go for the free package a pro package or finally an enterprise package you can see all these features being listed for each pro uh, each uh, offer yep and down here this was my first time creating a footer so i guess it looks cool a simple footer so this is something awesome a weather app i guess you guys were waiting for this one a weather app and yep i can say that it was my first time working with an api so basically it gets all these information weather information using an api so here you can search your city name so if i search something like um uh, one of the other city here on our country that is called Lahore so if I search it you're gonna get all the associated information you can see that there we have 14 centigrade and the, this is how we have different information here you can also see the current time humidity wind speed and wind degrees I guess uh, it has some problems that's why it uh, turns to be zero maybe some problem with the API but before when I was like creating this one I never had this problem but this is a cool weather app and it's something like advanced you know bit advanced because you're going to work with an api and then you're going to extract information from that and simply uh show them on the page so it's you know kind of tough one but anyways let's move on to the final project so this is the last project and this is where I use Bootstrap for the first time. I learned some basics of Bootstrap, watched some courses and I came back and created my own food delivery website. So, and I also had to change its theme. So it was something I have never done before, but I finally did it. And there you can see this look, I guess it looks cool. I'm just surprising myself, but this is how I feel, man. This is how I feel. So you can see a search bar here and you can see this cool hover effect uh, i mean focus effect of course so if i move down a little bit you can explore the menu we have main courses oh my god i'm sure you're gonna have some water in your mouth but let's just keep it that way you can see you can have different salads you can order anything you want from this menu of course this is a front end so it's not gonna work and then here we have our reviews we almost have five star reviews and yep these are testimonials and here we have about us section and at the very end we have a of course a footer you can subscribe here as well so this is it guys now here's one interesting thing that i didn't mentioned in all other projects now let me tell you 
all of my projects that I've mentioned in this video, the previous projects, the previous nine projects, all of them are responsive designs. They are they are being customized for every device width. So don't worry about it. But once I started working with Bootstrap, it became way easier. So let me show you how it feels like. Uh, let me show you its responsive design. So there you go. So this is in a thousand width multiplied by 700, something like that. So I'm going to reduce it, reduce its width. See, it's changing. It's changing. Now we're going towards a small device width. See, now this is a mobile width. And this is how it's going to look like when you're viewing it on device. I mean a mobile device. So it changes. So I've done that in this one because this is one of the main features of a booster where you can create responsive designs. And it made that thing a lot easier because, you know, in the previous projects, I've done that with CSS. It was quite frustrating. You have to take care of each and every element, but this makes it a whole lot easier. So there you go, my friend. If you want to start coding, I'm on your side. Consider subscribing our channel for absolutely free content. To get source codes to all of these projects, join our Telegram channel. Thanks for watching.